What's up gamers? Hey, once again, thanks again for tuning in to the Gamers Reverse DL channel. So today, we're going to be installing Nintendo Nestor J on the PlayStation Vita firmware 3.63. So what do you need? We will need to have Arc 2 installed. Check one of my previous videos, it's really easy to install, so go get it. Download Nestor J emulator. So I'll go ahead and leave a link on my Twitter page. It's just an example emulator so you can go ahead and work with it. Have your ROM files ready. As for the installation, we're going to download Nestor AOX folder and then we're going to drag it into the save data folder. We're going to re refresh the QCMA database so that we can capture all the new information. And then we're going to use Content Manager to transfer our save data file to the PlayStation Vita. And then we're all done. We will test and see if it works. Wait for the example. Links are in the description. Also, please remember to check my Twitter. Enjoy gamers. So right now I'm going to go to my documents. PS Vita. PS Save Data. And then I'm going to choose my profile for my Slim. 3.63 uh, PlayStation Vita. As you can see I have the file I was telling you guys about. A Nestra OX. Nestra OX. So I'm just going to drag that file in there. It's kind of like a save data file. It's just named differently. It'll show on your content manager with the Nintendo logo. So now I'm going to get my Nestor J emulator. Now please remember to include your ROMs in the ROM folder. They're fairly easy to find, like maybe Twitter. So then I'm just going to go ahead and copy and then I'm going to paste it in my save data file the Nestra OX I don't even know why I named it so weird I can barely say it but hey so just paste that information in there remember to refresh your QCMA database I just refresh twice just in case So now I'm just going to show you guys that I am on the firmware 3.63. So for all those that doubt that I'm not on 3.63, I just want to show you guys. There you have it, 3.63 official firmware for the PlayStation Vita. So now we're going to go ahead and copy the save data file with content manager. So I'm going to launch content manager, copy content. Then we're going to select PC to the PlayStation Vita system. We go to applications. We go to the save data PSP other. And then you're going to see Nestor UO or Nestor J as the logo can reflect right there and then we're going to copy and then copy that information over to our PlayStation Vita so pretty much we are creating a, the best handheld device right now we can have every type of emulator with the official former so we're going to launch ARC So it'll scan our information as you can see Nintendo it's right in there it's just in the homebrew folder you don't even have to do anything else it's basically just transferring that save data file so here to capture the ROMs we're going to select O so we're gonna go O again it's gonna take us back and then O again and then we're going to select save data we're gonna select O Oh, oh, and then we're going to select our save data file, the folder that I weirdly named, I don't know why, Nestra OX, and then we're going to select our emulator folder, Nestra JJ, we go to ROMs, and then we're going to launch a game, 
So what guess which game it is? One of my favorite games as well. I think I love every game. Super Mario Brothers 3. Well, let's test it out. Sounds pretty good. Instinct. There you have it. Alright guys, hopefully this helped. Hit like, subscribe, enjoy. I'm going to be doing other tutorials for Neo Geo and Super Nintendo, so stay tuned. As always, game is reversed.